Hi everyone, welcome back again to the book shop at Burnley Market Hall. Just had a lot of vintage sci-fi coming, so we're going to quickly look at them all. Okay, first of all, it's all them, 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 them. These ones here, these ones here, and just making space for them to go on the shelf here. So first of all, we've got uh, Challenging Earth by Fred Saberhagen. The Invaders by Stephen Toll and Pieces Returned by F.M. Busley from the world of If. Another world of If, Our Children, Our Children's Children by Clifford D. Simak. Um, Maurice Allister's 993 Jack by Jack Vance. Larry Neven's A World Out of Time. Worlds of the Imperium by Keith Lamour. Uh, some newer stuff. Richard Morgan's Altered Carbon. The Syndic by CM Cornbluff. Pollen by Jeff Moon. Soldiers of Paradise by Paul Park. Uh, something new there. Harry, Harry Horses, The Last Cowboy. Twin Worlds by Neil R. Jones. I mean, some of these are just look so awesome. Where are these from? This is 67, 1967. So I think they're all about 60s, 70s, mostly. To Escape the Stars by Robert Hoskins. The Iron Horn by Aligis Budkris. Her Ring of Bright Water, so not entirely sci fi, but some mostly sci fi. And all the covers are just awesome. The ESP Worm by Robert Mogoff and Piers Anthony. Uh, William R. Burkitt's Sleeping Planet. Best Science Fiction Stories, edited by Edmund Crispin. It's big book of sci-fi, different, different stories there. A Better Man Trap by Bob Shaw. A Three Men in the Book. Penguin book, Planet of No Return by Harry Harrison. This just looks so awesome. So many new authors that I haven't discovered before. The Many Coloured Land by Julian May. Again, this looks absolutely awesome. This one might be from the 50s, reprinted in the 80s. Uh, Catherine Kurtz, Camber of Cold Day. The White Dragon by Anne McCarthy. There we got that already. That one looks like an older copy. Ring World, we've had him before. It always very popular by Larry Neven. The Impossibles by Mark Phillips. Uh, A. E. Van Vogt, More Than Superhuman. It's another awesome cover. A. E. Van Vogt, Away and Beyond. Uh, science Fiction Analogue by I think multiple authors Skinner, Williamson and Robinette a Spanish word book Peter F. Hamilton's Mind Star Rising How to Draw by Adrian Hill Grey Lord by Keith Lomore uh, Kelly Chandra by Anna McCarthy and Get Off the Unicorn by Anna McCarthy while here, The Explorers by C.N. Cornbluff, Stig of a Dump by uh, Clive King, Stardance by Spider and Dean Robinson, another one by Peter F. Amerson, Pandora Star, uh, The Dark Dimensions and the Rim Gods. Um, um, Norman Conquest 2066 by J.T. McIntosh. Dark Dimensions for the first time, together with The Ring of the Gods by Bertram Chandler. Another, let's think we've gone through that again. John Varley's Demon. John Varley's Wizard. Peter F. Hamilton's Fallen Dragon. Uh, Harry Harrison's Nova 2. A Planet Called Krishna by Le Sprague and De Camp. Le Sprague de Camp, sorry. Obviously Clark's Imperial there. Love Conquers All by Fred Saberhagen. Pod Eagle's Son by Philip E. High. John Morris's Nail Down the Stairs. John Varley's Titan. 
the city he fought by Anne McCarthy and S.M. Sterling. The Cybernetic Samurai by Victor Millen. Uh, Eve and Vought the Battle of Forever. Eve and Vought Away and Beyond. Uh, White Fang by Jack London. The Animals Came in One by One by Buster Lloyd Jones. The Big Time by Fritz Lieber. Forgotten Realms. Dark Water of Moonshade by Douglas Niles. Uh, Michael Moorcox, The Vanishing Tower. John Lemington's new science fiction thriller, Sword of the Night. Daniel T. Langart's Anything You Can Do. And Keith Lomo's The Glory Game. So there we go, guys. There was, a, there was actually quite a few Marvel. Um, I thought it was like, as just as soon as the delivery came, there was a customer in the shop that just he bought loads of them. So. Um, and there's another copy up there, and the new one's in today, which I'm really happy about. Dianetics. Dianetics by L. Ron Hubbard. Seems like a weird one for the um, for the religious shelf, but it's actually the whole well, not the holy book, but the the basis book for science Scientology. Um, I'm really happy about getting that because the version online is nothing like that. The version online is like less than I think it's about 30 pages or something. Um, so that one, you know what? Until I get another copy. I'm gonna purchase it myself. I've got a thumb in my pocket. Yeah, there's no other shops that do this sort of thing. There we go. So come check it out, guys, here at the £1 bookshop at Burnley Market Hall.